Good morning, America. We're here to show you how not to itch with the pink stuff. What do you think? We've been putting in insulation in the apartment, and we figured we would share with you a few tips. Because we've been itching three, four, five days of this crap. It sucks. The thing on my head's gonna work for you. Trust me. So odd. All right. So first tip, obviously, pantyhose. <laughs> And they work. They do. Obviously, you don't want to put them on your head like Fred does. Well, sometimes you have to put them on your head so it doesn't get in your hair. You want to you want to wear a do-rag. Baby powder? How do you do the baby powder? We'll show you how to do the baby powder. You just put it on your arms? Uh, no, you don't just put it on your arms. Where do you put it? You have to put long sleeves on, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay. If you're a woman, you want to wear, you know, you don't really want to wear it up in like a, like a messy bun or anything like that. If you're going to wear it, wrap it up in a bun and then cover it or put it in pigtails and then a do-rag over it yeah. and if you're a guy a baseball cap or a do-rag Fred had a do-rag on yesterday Walmart has do-rags for a dollar another thing to help with your hands gloves we went through so many of these yeah. it was unreal they'll get hot though no they were not hot at all they were hot for me they're sweaty gloves sometimes you do cotton gloves too right I didn't use the cotton gloves because I felt like the fibers from the glass were yeah. going to go through. This is fiberglass. It's glass. It's fine little pieces of glass. That's what irritates your skin. Insulation. So the other thing that we have is a long sleeve shirt. Yep. So I'm going to put it on Fred and show you what you need to do. So obviously you want to close up the shirt, obviously, right? Put your gloves on. It's a little hot in here. These gloves don't really fit his hands. Don't you want to take, put some tape around this? The name of the game is to to cover every piece of skin. Make pretend there's a beehive. As much as possible. And you put your hand in a beehive, you don't want to get stung. So, I'm not going to do his other hand. When you go in the attic, this is really hot, so you want to be in the attic in the morning. Like, we used to, we were waking up the last couple of days at 3 o'clock in the morning to go in that attic. To get the wiring done, to get the insulation he done, just likes get the to show on the road. with the hand with the glove on. That's what he likes to do. Don't forget your goggles, otherwise you'll be getting pieces of fiberglass in your eyes and you'll be running in the house like Fred. Ah, I got fiberglass in my eyes! Ah! Well, That's what he did the other I day. I pushed the insulation in like this, into the wall, and it, boom, it blew back up me and went right in my eyes. All the, so, the glass fibers went in my eyes. So make sure you have good goggles. Yeah, the kind that go around you and everything, yeah. So goggles like this, and your do-rag, alright? And then before you start working with the insulation, I'm already itching. Take yourself some baby powder. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm showing you. And you put it all over. And then inside of the sleeves. Then you can And then do this, tape them. okay? Then you, you take don't a shower. need to tape them. This will make all the fibers right. fall off. Like you do when you go and get your hair done and they put it all over like a talcum powder and then they brush you off. Another option is if you have short sleeve shirts and you don't have a long sleeve shirt or it's really hot in the attic. You can put pantyhose on your arms. You just put the pantyhose on like this. You cut the sleeve, you cut the hole right there. And then you put these on your arms and then when and you're you done. And you put your glove on. You put your glove on. And you can tape around the glove. So when you're done, you just take the pantyhose off like this and throw it away. It's garbage. You're a dollar at Walmart. And for something like that, then you want to take your baby powder and then you put it all over all, your Or the pantyhose too. Or all over the arm. You can just load it up. Yeah. Baby powder just washes right off. And one of the most important things... Is masks. Your masks. Because all of this stuff is going to be flying everywhere. Yeah. And it's going to be in your mouth. It's going to be in your nose. It's going to be in your eyes. It's going to be in your It gets in your ears. Everywhere. And this right here, I go to Walmart. I got 15 masks for uh, $1.95. But you don't want to get the cheap masks like we did. You want to get the respirator type. Because this, this is really cheap. So what we do with these is we throw them out every time. Every time we go up there for like 10 minutes, we'll throw the mask away and put another mask on because they're so cheap. And we're literally still coughing two days later. Yeah, it's bad, guys. This stuff is it's really ridiculous. bad. ridiculous. Now, you can get the wool insulation, but it's big money. It's more expensive A and lot it's more kind expensive. of overkill. We, we are done with this cotton candy. Finally done. I got a little bit of touch-up to do and we're done with the cotton candy. I rolled, just, you know, because you guys... If, if, if you're new watching this, learning about insulation... Well, that's good. But Ugh. if you're from our channel, um, we actually, on the attic here, we actually rolled insulation all the way across the other way of the trusses. So we have to, took all this leftover, and we did take your advice, and we did some of the walls on the bedroom and some on the, actually, on the laundry room so we don't hear the washer. Because some lady said, put the put the insulation in your interior wall where your washer is so you don't hear it when yes. you're in the living room. That yeah. makes sense. That was a good tip. Thanks, guys. The other thing 
when you're putting up the insulation, those suits, the white suits you that make you look those. like a marshmallow, They're hot. If it is cold outside, that's a great tool. Right. If it is hot, like it was, it was 96 degrees. Yeah. Not it could a good be dangerous because it doesn't very breathe. Very dangerous because I almost passed out. It was so hot. I was outside cutting while he was inside right. installing. I told her to take it off, and she didn't listen. She almost passed out. I bent down to uh, cut something and came up, and I was going down fast. <laughs> All right. Apple cider so vinegar. So how do we clean this up? Apple cider vinegar. What What do you do to clean it up? Shower. Cold shower, not hot, because cold keeps your pores closed, and then you can take a hot shower afterwards. Once we finished installing all this, we went searching and talking to everybody we could find right. who had worked with insulation to find out how to clean it off of us because we were itching and miserable. So we found that cold showers, obviously, to rinse everything off of us, and conditioner helps to pull the stuff off yeah, of your Yeah, conditioner. Conditioner helps, and apple cider vinegar, believe it or not, works. It has to be apple cider vinegar. I found this on a YouTube channel on a guy that now works do you with... you wipe yourself with it? You do. Right. I found this on a YouTube channel. He works with insulation, the boat insulation. Ooh. And it's worse than this. It is? So, yeah. So, but he uses this and it breaks that down. So I was like, well, if it breaks that down, it'll break this down. And it did. I slept like a baby that night. It pulled the insulation out of my hair, off of my skin. I was great. So it breaks the tiny fibers up. It melts it. It literally melts the glass, little, little glass fibers. Right. So what I did was I took a cold shower, and then I shook this all up, and I took handfuls and put it all over my skin. I put it in my hair. I put it down my legs. I put it everywhere. Why not just vinegar? I don't know why the regular vinegar doesn't work as good as the apple cider vinegar, but he had said in his video that the apple cider vinegar he found works 10 times better than the regular vinegar. So if you don't want to itch and you want to do insulation for your house, your cabin, whatever you want to do it for your tiny home, your big house, your small house, your garage, whatever, this is a way how not to itch. Spread this video out and send it to your friends, construction friends and stuff. You know, even if you're the boss man and you got your construction guys, send this video to them so they won't itch the next day. There's They'll... a lot of really good tips in here and a lot yeah. of, we've done a lot of research on how to right. not be itchy. Benadryl helps too. Benadryl at night. And your workers will work a lot better for you when they're not in, itching the next morning. It's not a fun thing. That's right. See, Just talking about it, I'm itchy. That's right. See you guys. Have a good one. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.